You girls are so paranoid, the man said to me at a bar several years back when I just happened to put my hand over my cup because I, like, was doing a Levi Ackerman impression and I got used to doing it ironically and then I couldn't stop, so it started to become unironic. But all of, all of that is to say, I put my hand over the top of my drink. And he made that kind of comment after trying to chat me up incredibly unsuccessfully. Uh, and I decided I was going to absolutely ruin his perspective for an evening out of retaliation. Good day, my name is Kitty and I'm the own life coach. If you don't know me, I'm kind of known for traumatizing the men who bother me. And I crossed 700,000 followers a bit ago, which means I owe you all a story time. And this was one of the things that tied on my pestron. So here we go. Well, you know, it actually is just like an anime reference, not anything defensive, I assure you. But hold on. Speaking of references, that guy over there, the blonde. Yeah, the one behind you. Doesn't he like look like somebody that like was on Vine? I swear I saw him on Vine. Oh, I know, right? R.I.P. Anyway, no, don't stare at him. Don't stare. It's fine. It's fine. Don't stare at him. It'll be weird. Anyway, hey, cheers, honey. I bet you can't chug that bad boy back fast and I can chug this back. All right, you're on. Let's go. Good job. Hey. Oh, no, there's no need for another round. I'm sure it'll only be about 15 minutes before that kicks in for you. Oh, not the alcohol. No, no, no. I don't think you're that much of a lightweight. <laughs> well, you didn't notice when you turned around. Me fiddling with your drink. You didn't see. And then you chugged it back, so it wouldn't matter if you did see, because you drank it. So clearly, even if you did see, you weren't worried about what it could do to you. I chill. I'm joking. I'm joking. Yeah, I'm totally joking. But that little pit in your stomach that's not 100% sure if I'm joking or not, that's paranoia. But hey, you don't have to worry about that usually, right? Girls are the ones that are paranoid. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> anyway, I am very done with this very unfortunate conversation. But don't worry. Like I said, I was totally joking. I definitely didn't put anything in your drink when you turned around. I fiddled with it, but I didn't actually put anything in it. Just wanted to see if you'd notice the motions. But tonight is my off night. I hit my quota for the week when it comes to harvesting kidneys. So I don't have to worry about, you know, actually doing anything. Okay. Bye. And then I left, and the man's gabs were flabbered. He was just sputtering up a storm and being like, uh, 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 that's not funny. You know, he was like losing his mind. So I found it hysterical, objectively. I still find it funny. Now listen, some of you might be saying that that was a step too far and I took it too far there and you are entitled to your incorrect opinion. I argue that I had it completely fair and square because him coming up to me and making that type of comment about women being so paranoid tells me that this is nothing new for him, all right? He's projecting consistent rejections from other women and femme presenting people in his past that have come across as them being paranoid about him, which means he's been giving them a reason to feel so paranoid. And or he's also also could be sitting there with the full intention to do exactly what he's talking about, telling on himself inadvertently by trying to gaslight me into thinking I'm the one who's crazy and that I shouldn't be villainizing this random guy and then lower my defensive by proxy. No, I'm not. I'm going to make you up your defensive, actually. Because why is he paying such close attention to the manner at which I just happen to be holding my drink? And then feeling so emboldened and personally offended that he has to make a comment about it in order to try to make me feel like I'm in the wrong for just holding my drink a certain way that he is perceiving as defensive. Again, in my case, it wasn't actually even me being defensive. It was me being a nerd. But, I mean, all the same look at it this way. Nobody should be able to basically perform Anna Kendrick's cup song with your drink. Like, you need to have some form of spatial awareness, my dude. Here's, here's a little lesson in it for you, I guess, by proxy. But also, stop making women so uncomfortable and then trying to make them feel like they're in the wrong for showing you signs that they're uncomfortable. Just don't do it. Have some introspective. You are the problem. Anyway, happy belated 700,000 followers. Uh, glad to make you guys all evil versions of yourselves. I am certain only like 2% of you are going to see this video anyway. But, you know, it's good to have you around.